Here we are with a T-Rex Twister. Another great T-Rex pedal. We know they sound great for guitar. But let's find out how they sound with a bass guitar. First let's take a quick look at the controls. On the side we have an input control uh, with an LED that lights up if it's overdriven. So let's turn it all the way up and see what the LED looks like. push it in and hide it. Nice feature. Um, let's look at the other controls. We've got over here the depth control. Controls the depth of the effect. We've got a push button that uh, switches between chorus and flanger. Another push button that switches between a, a light and a heavy effect. We've got the overall output of the pedal. We've got the regen knob that controls the regenerations of the flanger doesn't do anything for the chorus. We've got a tone knob that uh, knocks off some of the highs if you want more of a retro sounding effect. We'll leave that all the way up. Uh, we need all the highs we, net, we, we can get for the bass. Um, I suppose for guitar it works nice. So you can cut your highs off and get a more of a retro sound. And we've got a speed or rate knob. So let's listen to it first. Bypassed. Like all the T-Rex pedals, you don't lose any signal at all when it's bypassed. It sounds really good. Just like a P-Bass should. Your course is just to push the, the heavy button. That's heavy. That's light.
Tori Slapping. T-Rex. Thanks, guys. <laughs>